at this point in time, you need to plan for what we know is going to happen because we are being told by every top government official, by all the analysts, by all the top corporations. With all the things that are going on in this world right now, there's a lot of things that you could be preparing for. Any type of a disaster, you could be preparing for this, you can be preparing for that. There's so many different things that are going on and the world has just gone crazy and it's gone mad. And what you really need to be doing to be prepared is this. You need to really start thinking about what is going to happen in this upcoming winter and how you are going to be able to afford and take care of your family during this upcoming winter. They are already talking about the prices and everything else are going to keep rising. The food prices are going up on a weekly basis. Okay, Gas prices are going to be going up. The cost for you to heat your home this winter is going to be astronomical. You need to start making plans now and doing some of these things and securing the future for you and your family. And what I am talking about when I am saying this is looking at your situation. Maybe if you heat with just fuel oil, maybe you need to have a backup in electricity because electricity will probably be one of the cheaper ways to go. If you go into my Amazon storefront, I took the time and I went through and I checked out a bunch of different heaters and ratings and everything else for safety, energy efficient, and all these type of things. And I put them into my Amazon storefront to give you an idea. Maybe if you had an electric heater that you could use for backup to help offset maybe the cost of your fuel or natural gas or whatever it is that you're burning to get heat in your home maybe this way here it would make it a little bit easier for you in the long run the price of food is increasing on a weekly basis pound of butter even if you go to walmart is four dollars and change if milk is what anywhere between three and six bucks a gallon depending on where you buy it at a half a gallon is three to five dollars i mean eggs are just astronomical your basic food necessities have gone up, canned goods have gone up, and meat, well, just forget meat because that is just getting so overpriced that people just can't even afford to buy chicken anymore. So any way that you can maximize anything to help get you through this winter, this is what you need to be prepared for is this upcoming winter. Winter in a lot of areas lasts almost six months, folks. So you have to plan this out. You have to come up with a plan that's going to ensure that you and your family will be safe. You and your family will be warm and you and your family will be fed. Now, it may not be these gourmet meals that you want to make for your family and everything else. But in the long run, if you can put something hot on the table to warm somebody's bones on a cold winter day, well, you have succeeded in being prepared. You have to come up with different types of recipes maybe if you can make one big dish and get two meals out of it that would be a very big bonus and in that aspect you want to look at your soups and stews and things of that nature because then you can get more than one meal out of those things large dishes that you can make with macaroni or rice you know that's another way that you can maximize your money and make the food stretch further and make sure that you have something good to eat, hot to eat, and that everybody is going to enjoy. You know what your family likes to eat. You know what your family really needs. This way here, if you start making a plan now, this is going to be key in the upcoming six months of winter. Now, winter is already starting to rear its ugly face in certain parts of this country as we are speaking right now. They've already started having massive cold spells. The polar jet stream has been pushing down through. They're getting massive snowstorms out west and it's starting to push across the country. So it's only a matter of time before these things happen. You also have to make sure that if you do live in the north and you do not have your snow tires yet, there is going to be a shortage on snow tires this year due to imports. All right. A lot of our tires and stuff do come from overseas. A lot of companies are running short on a lot of the certain 
sizes of tires because there's a lot of different cars that run the same size tire and that's where you're going to start running into your problems but it's not a chance you really want to take so if you don't have your snow tires and stuff yet you may be want to be looking into that you need to be planning for what is going to be happening and coming this upcoming winter it is so very critical at this point in time yes there are all these other things that are going on that i talk about that all these other channels talk about and everything else but in the end you're starting to see that you're starting to see people are starting to lose their jobs they're starting to lay people off even though we're coming into the holiday season you're starting to see a lot of these companies are cutting back on their sales they're raising their prices so that they can meet their quarter so they can make the shareholders happy they don't care about you they don't care about me they don't care about anything except for that bottom line price that's what it boils down to you have to be the one to be prepared because if you're not in the long run it's going to come back it's going to hurt you because one you're going to start maxing out all your credit cards you're going to go through your savings like it's water and then what are you going to do for the other three months of the winter how are you going to put fuel in your fuel tank how are you going to put gas in your car how are you going to put food on the table when you're working and everything else but all that money is having to go to your heat your rent or your mortgage your car payment and all this kind of stuff because all those prices are going up and where are you going to have money for food and medical and where are you going to have money for school supplies where are you going to have money for all these different things hopefully you know your kids are already set up and they're good to go with a winter coat and a hat and gloves and and boots and winter clothing so they stay warm if they're outside they have to walk to school they have to wait at the school bus stop these are all things that you need to be thinking about this upcoming winter is going to be very hard very stressful on a lot of american people and maybe not just american people look what's going on all over the world europe is facing daily blackouts and they're already talking about when they're going to be blocking these people out and they're not going to have any power we haven't got to that point yet but that doesn't mean it can't happen here just because we live in the united states doesn't mean that we're not acceptable to what is going on in other countries and that could be an effect right here in this country this coming winter if the temperatures get so cold and everything else who's to say we couldn't have rolling blackouts because of power shortages because of any of these type of things so you really need to be paying attention to what is going on and just remember there's a lot of different things that you can do right now to start trying to save on your energy bills as far as making sure that your doors and windows they are all closed there's no drafts if you have to you buy weather stripping or you have to caulk around your windows or something you can do little things that don't cost a lot of money that can save you a lot of money in the long run and that's what it's all about so what you need to be doing now is preparing for this upcoming winter because this upcoming winter is going to be a bear and the bear is already asleep in the woods for the winter time because the bear doesn't want to even be around for this one so i'm survival preparedness for beginners thank you for joining me on this video today i hope everybody stay safe you keep prepping and make sure that you're planning for this upcoming winter it's going to be a long six months folks so until next time I'll catch all of you on the flip side.